In this video, I talk about how important it is we allow our children to be accountable for their decisions. This is how legends are made. So in today's episode, I wanted to just explore and share some of the conversations I've been having recently about accountability. Now, the conversations have been about children and giving them a greater sense of accountability and responsibility for their decisions. Um, but actually, I don't believe that it sits just with children. I think this is a situation that we still currently find ourselves in. So it kind of applies to majority of the age groups um, who will ever watch this video. We are experiencing so much or so many issues with mental health. So the work I do in schools, the, the conversations I have there, be it one-on-one -on -one or with groups, there is there is so much that seems to be based in our ability to handle difficult situations. Now, the catch-all phrase is resilience, but I think after a while it gets a bit like a white noise and it's difficult to really kind of navigate through and understand it. But the factor of allowing ourselves or our children to experience the results of their own decisions without us getting in the way or interfering. I was having a conversation with someone earlier in the week and their approach was very much to see their children as being able to go off, make the decisions and come back to them when they had an issue or a question or some sort of guidance they were after. But it was very much to allow them to make their decision and then accept the outcomes of their decisions, whatever they may be. And the conversation was really about how, as parents, we can really give too much of our own ego to our children. We kind of live through them. So what our children do, we use as a reflection of us as parents, and we can define ourselves as parents. And so what we do then is protect. We tell our children to come back at a certain time, maybe not go to that particular party, or we tell them to make sure they get the homework done, we set up framework for that to happen. And as I say, this comes across the board. This isn't you know, just a specific group. I've encountered in so many different varieties of children or families with a variety of backgrounds where the child, for whatever reason, is struggling to make decisions because they haven't been allowed to experience the results, they've been protected in some form. And the insecurity, the anxiety and the worry that I meet on a regular basis in children comes down to this, they are not allowed to go and fail and on the reverse they are actually given prizes for coming fifth, sixth or seventh. This is creating the ability where we're, we're deadening the impact of the of the world outside of education, I was going to say the real world, but the world outside of education. And as we protect children, they have multiple voices in their head telling them how they should feel and what they should do. And see fears of failure, fears of embarrassment come to kind of like pervade in. And so one of the things I start out by saying is to the groups I talk to is I want to extinguish all other voices from your head and leave just your own. And the way we do this is by actually encountering our problems coming up with solutions and actually respecting our decisions and respecting the consequences of those decisions. The more we protect our children, the less they're going to rely on themselves or trust their guts, trust their decisions, and they're left in a sea of uncertainty because they have no empirical evidence of trying. It's all down to someone else filtering the world away from them, protect them in some form, be it a parent or a guardian. So in this video, it's really just an encouragement to notice when we can allow our children to make mistakes and accept the consequences, whatever it may be, good or bad. And we need to withdraw our ego, not live through our children's successes or live through their failures but accept that our individual human beings with their own decision process and their own ability to learn in their own way. We're getting to a point where we're interfering. And the more we can reduce that interference, I think we'll be beginning to see a reduction in concerns over anxiety, concerns over mental well-being. 
because people are allowed to fail a lot more. When we realize that failure is the entry level to success in life, that we're going to fail 49 out of 50 times, but that one time we win is the one to focus on. So I'll leave that with you. Something to think about. Have a great day wherever you are. This is how legends are made.